everyone this is ritesh welcome everyone to tabinfo.com how are you guys so what i have for you today before moving forward first of all you should congratulate me for my new mic are you hearing me sound and loud and clear i hope so anyways who am i am ritesh uh, i do blog at tabloinfo.com and some of you would have already known that uh, your beginners training course is launched and it's free so do check my website home page and do click on this launch button do subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and if my videos are making sense to you this is the time to hit the subscribe button don't miss to hit the bell icon then only you'll get the regular updates i also appreciate if you like my video if you are liking my video then do press the like button as well and do share it and i i really appreciate that and i always welcome your comments now today we have an interesting topic how to get average for grand total you might be aware of the grand total where you simply sum from top to bottom but if i don't want i don't want that i want to have average or i want to get maximum for example you can see the image over there if i want maximum in out of across all the months so it will come it should come out as 45264 for the month of july but then this image is more uh, about the average anyways it's fine average you can do with the size and fixed salary you can do both but i'm just giving you an example so we are going to use couple of functions over there size and uh, fixed salary so we'll talk about a little bit about the functions as well and also i'll share uh, my previous uh, basic uh, youtube uh, videos on fixed salary so that you can relate to this more the best way to learn is to do so let's uh, go over to the worksheet okay so this is our target sheet we want like this and also at the same time you can see we need to change the label as well we need to change that grand total label to monthly average something like that so now we need to convert this one and in order to convert this one i am making use of one calculation before that calculation let us talk about two functions over there that, as i already promised to you size this will uh, return the number of rows in the partition for example you see over there if i drag size over there for the year 2018 it should give me value 12 because there are 12 months in a year or say in the year of 2018 so that is the Rule of size over here, and for so there will be two partitions. For the first partition, two thousand eighteen, it will give me twelve. For the second partition, that is grand total, it will give me one. This is one. So we are going to take advantage of that thing only. How we'll see very soon. Okay, fixed. Uh, again, as I said, I'll uh, paste my uh, paste at my YouTube description the video. so you can if you are not aware of this you can um, go through the basic level of video over there but then it it simple it just compute and aggregate using only the specified dimension so when i do the, that calculation i'll explain more about the same so i'm going to use the calculation average let me open the this calculation so instead of sales i will be using this very particular calculation and what it says it says if size is equal to 1 then average of the fixed date trunk month or a date sum of sales so if you are not aware of this date trunk so maybe i have this with me so inside that you have the same calculation over there the same thing but then i'm showing you separately so that you can understand this in a better way i said the exact date so basically the date trunk what it is doing if i would like to show you like that way as well this one truncate the specified date to the accuracy specified by the date part so here we are saying 
month day trunk month that means it will take me to the first of that month the first of this month would be first of jan so i am fixing against this very particular date because it is it will give me the year as well it's not like that it is just giving me the month but it is giving me the date where i have the first of the month plus year as well that's why it is it is useful for me so this is the date part over there now coming back to that very particular calculation average so i'm fixing this very particular that makes sense because i need to fix both month and year remember that there are other years as well over there so you need to fix month and year both and it will fix the same for me when i do that so fixed day trunk month and uh, so that will give me some of sales and i need average of this you know i'll be fixing month and year and whatever values are over there i need to get the average of the same so from the calculation itself you can see that okay that actually this should come over there and this should come in the else part the partition under 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 the year 2018 should come under else part and the grand total should come under this one so as i already said as i already explained about the size function so as i said that it will return the number whenever you are at grand total get me the average across all the months so it will give me the average if it is not size is not equal to one size will be 12 over there then you will simply have the sum of sales and now i can show you the magic remove the sum of sales and put average over there if you face this problem maybe you'll have to just uh fix the addressing part and here i can see something which is good but then in order to understand this maybe i can choose only 2 43000 so if i calculate 4 3 9 7 1 plus 2 0 3 0 1 is equal to divided by 2 exactly so i am getting the average you can get max as well the only thing is that you'll have to change that to max so if i want to do like this it should give give me the maximum value like this i can change the label that was the other issue that you we were facing so i can maybe i can say in this case it would be max so it will show me max or you can uh, make it average when you are changing your calculation to average so i hope that this video has made some sense and bye for now from my side till we meet next time with this you can see this right anyway bye bye see you next time with my new video bye bye